There are six ways to measure labor progress during birth, and five of them are not cervical dilation. And that's important to know if you are laboring, you're working hard, and someone comes to check you and they say, oh, you're still five centimeters. That can feel super discouraging if you've been working hard and it's been a few hours. But if you know these other ways, you can ask, well, what else has changed? Have we had progress in other areas? Now, here are the six ways. The contractions or surges build. They get longer, stronger, and closer together. The cervix moves forward, it gets softer, it gets thinner, and also it dilates or opens. And then there's also progress with the baby. Uh, the baby comes lower, their head flexes and turns, the whole baby turns, and their head molds um, so it comes out easier. I have an image of lifesavers here because if you imagine sucking on a lifesaver, like not chewing it, but sucking on it, what happens to it? It gets thinner and softer and the hole in the middle opens and all this stuff happens at the same time. And cervixes are a little like that as well. I've got a video here. The, uh, you'll see how the cervix is right here. You can see it's getting thinner also getting softer and it's dilating as well. If someone tells you a number that's the same, ask what else has changed. You don't have to remember all these six ways, but just ask what else has changed and that'll help you. Uh, hopefully it'll encourage you to, to just keep on going. Uh, so I'm Angie Evans, Angie the doula, and uh, you can learn more about all kinds of things birthy through my website, angieevans.ca. It's listed in the bottom. Thanks for watching.